What is your question? What is the question? Why, if man is not meant to eat meat, hmm. then why is it that some animals eat? Since we are animals also, now we are not meant to eat meat, but other animals are permitted to. The other animals, they meet, but they follow the nature's law. They don't eat don't grain. Follow, we don't follow no, meat. no, you don't follow. Just like a tiger. A tiger eats meat, but tiger does not come to eat grains and fruits. But you eat meat and grains, fruits, milk, whatever you can get, you eat. Why? Is that natural? Tiger will never come to claim on the grains. Oh, you have got so much grain, give me. No, even there are hundreds of bags of grains, he don't care, but he'll pounce upon it. That is his natural instinct. But why do you take grains, fruits, meat, and whatever you get? What is this? You are neither animal nor human being, misusing your humanity. You should think that what is suitable for me? A tiger may eat uh, meat, it is a tiger, but I am not a tiger, I am a human being. And if I got sufficient grains, fruits, vegetables, and other things, God has given, why should I go to kill a poor animal? This is human. You are animal, plus human. If you forget your humanity, then you are animal. So we are not simple animal. We are animal plus humanity. If we increase our quality of humanity, then our life is perfect. But if we remain in animality, then our life is imperfect. So we have to increase our human consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness. What is the purpose of eating? To live. If you can live very peacefully, very nicely, with good health, by eating so many varieties of foodstuff given by Krishna, why should I kill an animal? This is humanity. Why should I imitate an animal? Then what is the difference between animal and human being? If you have no discretion, if you have no consciousness. Besides that, scientific your teeth is meant for eating vegetables. The tiger has eat for eating meat. Nature has made it like that. It has to kill another and therefore he has got nails, he has got teeth, he has got strength. But you have no such strength. You cannot kill a cow like that, pounce it like cow. Yeah? You have to make slaughterhouse and sit down at your home. Somebody may slaughter and you can eat very nicely. What is this? You do like tiger. Pounce up on a cow and eat. You cannot do that. <laughs> you cannot do that. Are you saying that nature's law, that is, he is, tiger is made by nature's law in that way. So therefore, he can do that. You cannot do it. Your nature is different. You have got discrimination, you have got conscience. You are claiming civilized human being, so you should utilize this thing. That is Krishna consciousness, perfect consciousness. So human life is meant for raising oneself to the perfection of consciousness, and that is Krishna. We cannot remain in tiger consciousness. That is not humanity. Yes, naturally we fall on from higher to lower. Then we make progress. Again, come to this human being. This is a bhaya media with good consciousness. If you utilize your good consciousness. Then you go still higher, go to God. But if you don't use your higher consciousness, then again go to down. This is going on, cycle of birth and death. This human form of life is meant for self-realization, God-realization. If we don't use properly our this life for God consciousness or Krishna consciousness and go back to the kingdom of God, then we have to suffer again in the eight million four hundred thousand species of life cycle one after another. That is, that is our choice. The best choice is to take to Krishna consciousness or God consciousness and a life is perfect. Don't be misguided. Take to God consciousness, Krishna consciousness and your life. Then it will be proper use of this human form of life. Otherwise, if we indulge in meat-eating like tiger, I may just get life like a tiger next life. But what is the use? Suppose if I become very strong tiger in my next life, is that very good promise? Do you know the life of tiger? They cannot eat even daily. They pounce upon one animal and keep it secretly, and they eat for a month the decomposed and flesh. Because it is not possible to get chance kill an animal. God will not give that such chance. It is natural. And in the jungle, wherever there is a tiger, all animals will go away. They will also try to protect themselves, self-protection. So, rarely, when he's too hungry, then God gives him a chance to pounce upon another one. Tiger cannot get so many palatable dishes daily. Oh, it is in human form of life. If we misuse, then we, are, we have got all facilities. And if we misuse it, then go to the tiger life. Be very strong with punching capacity. That's all.